हॅलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लोकसत्ता यशस्वी भव आय एम शुअर ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेअर ऑफ द आर्टिकल्स गेटिंग प्रिंटेड इन द लोकसत्ता अंडर द कॉलम यशस्वी भव प्लीज एन्शुअर दॅट यू रीड दीज आर्टिकल्स रेग्युलरली टू मेक यूज ऑफ इट अ फेदर इन द कॅप इज अ व्हिडिओ प्रेझेंटेशन प्लीज एन्शुअर दॅट यू कीप युअर टेक्स्ट बुक्स ओपन अँड ऑल्सो हॅव युअर आर्टिकल्स अलॉंग विथ यू वाईल यू वॉच दिस व्हिडिओ friends all of us are aware that there are different life processes going on inside our body that govern the functioning of our human life these life processes are extremely important the life processes are nutrition digestion growth respiration reproduction excretion etc we shall now discuss these life processes in detail which will help us to reveal life's internal secrets energy is the capacity of a body to perform work this energy is derived from the food we eat food is a fuel that contains nutrients the nutrients are carbohydrates proteins fats minerals vitamins etc carbohydrates are the energy giving nutrients proteins are the body building nutrients vitamins and minerals are the protective and regulating nutrients nutrients are extremely essential for a body nutrition the process in which a living organism obtains food and utilizes it is called as nutrition two modes of nutrition seen in case of living organisms are autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition the process in which living organisms synthesize their own food for example green plants green plants are called as autotrophs heterotrophic nutrition the process in which the animals depend on other animals for their food is called as heterotrophic nutrition for example mushrooms fungi yeast human beings animals parasites etc steps of nutrition seen in living organisms is as follows ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection nutrition takes place in the digestive system human digestive system consists of elementary canal and the digestive glands elementary canal is a long muscular tube that extends from the mouth to the anus digestion begins in the mouth mouth contains saliva saliva contains the enzyme salivary amylase starch present in the food is broken down with the help of salivary amylase food is then passed through the canal due to the relaxation and contraction of the muscles this movement is called as peristalsis food then is pushed to the stomach stomach is a muscular j shaped organ here churning and mixing of food takes place gastric glands that are present in the stomach help in the digestive process hydrochloric acid enzyme pepsin and mucus help in the process of digestion from the stomach food is then taken to the small intestine students remember even if the name small intestine this is the largest part of the elementary canal but it gets its name only because it is small in its diameter here in the small intestine there are digestive glands present liver which is the largest gland in the body secretes bile which makes the food alkaline this bile gets stored in the gall bladder pancreas secrete the pancreatic juice there are other enzymes like trypsin which breaks down proteins lipase which breaks down fats and pancreatic amylase breaks down carbohydrates thus the digestion of carbohydrates proteins and fats gets completed in this small intestine 
This digested food is then absorbed by the walls of the small intestine due to the presence of finger-like projections which are called as the villi. The food that is not absorbed and that is not digested is passed on to the large intestine. The walls of the large intestine absorb water and salts. The remaining part is then excreted out through the anus in the form of solid waste. Students, thus the process of digestion is complete in case of human beings. Now we shall see how nutrition happens in plants. Green plants are autotrophic. They synthesize their own food. Green plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere which reacts with water and forms carbohydrates. Oxygen gas is released into the atmosphere. This reaction takes place only in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Here, the light energy is converted into chemical energy. This energy is then utilized by the green plants. This is how nutrition takes place in green plants. The raw materials required for the process of photosynthesis are carbon dioxide, water, sunlight and chlorophyll. Students remember that even if one factor is absent, photosynthesis reaction will not take place. This is how nutrition takes place in plants. Friends, let us now study about respiration. Process of release of energy from the assimilated food is called as respiration. Two modes of respiration are external respiration and internal respiration. External respiration is nothing but the exchange of gases that takes place in and out of the lungs. Whereas internal respiration takes place in the mitochondria of the living cells. Exchange of gases in animals takes place with the help of lungs, gills, skin, etc. Exchange of gases in aquatic animals like fishes takes place with the help of gills. In case of aquatic animals, the breathing rate is faster as compared to the terrestrial animals. This is because the availability of oxygen in the water is less as compared to the availability of oxygen in the atmosphere. Now we shall study about the human respiratory tract. The parts of the human respiratory tract are the nostrils, larynx, pharynx, trachea, bronchi, alveoli and lungs. Air enters inside the nostrils wherein it gets filtered due to the presence of small hair particles. Dust particles are trapped in because of the mucus present in the nose. Air enters inside the trachea. The trachea is also called as the windpipe. The trachea branches to form the bronchi. The bronchi terminate into air-like structures called as the alveoli. The alveoli are present on the lungs. The lungs lie in the thoracic cavity on the either sides of the heart. The alveoli are rich in blood vessels. The RBCs present on the alveoli absorb the oxygen and transport it to the different tissues of the body which are deficit in oxygen. Simultaneously carbon dioxide gas is released out. This is how respiration process happens in case of human beings. Respiration in plants. In plants there is no special respiratory system. Diffusion of gases takes place through the stomata that is present on the leaves. In the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide gas is taken in and oxygen gas is given out. Similarly, during the process of respiration, oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide gas is given out. But remember friends, that photosynthesis can take place only during daytime, whereas respiration is a continuous process. And hence, there can be a hot question over here as to why should we not have plants in our bedroom during the night. The simple reason is that during the night time, there is only respiration taking place in plants and hence the amount of oxygen sorry the amount of carbon dioxide liberated is more which can lead to suffocation internal respiration 
internal respiration takes place in the mitochondria of the living cells. Here, the glucose molecule that is C6H12O6 gets converted to form the pyruvate. This reaction is anaerobic and it is called as glycolysis. A series of biochemical reactions take place and energy is released in the form of ATP molecules. This energy is utilized by the plants, by the living organisms or by the animals for performing different cellular activities. Friends, I am sure you have gained information from the video presented for nutrition as well as respiration. In case of queries, please do not hesitate to contact www.loksatta.com or send your emails to Yashashvi Bhava.